coach, you know, players. I mean, right. is, that a, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I think for this team, it's a great thing. Um, and, and, and I say that because, you know, this team, uh, talking in, in terms of us, uh, I, I, I like that um, because there won't need to be a wake-up call. There won't need to be a who is this, who are they, what, what conference are they in. Um, you know, I haven't heard of that guy or anything like that. So I, I like that from, from that perspective. Will you uh, call Archie first? <laughs> you know, it's, it's funny because we talk all the time. And, um, you know, it's, it's sort of like playing Arizona last year. He knows a lot about my team. I know a lot about his team, and, and um, so yeah, that'll, that'll be that'll be good. Similar to that, I want to ask about Jordan too. I obviously, I assume when he decided to leave, you wish to develop, probably someone followed what he's doing. Did you happen to you know, take a look from time to time and see his progress this year? Have to see him uh, do. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, when he got to, he said, "Look, I just, I want to want to play a lot," and, uh, and he's definitely going to do that. He's having a you know, honestly, a great career there, and you know, I'm I'm one of these guys. That, hey, as, as long as everybody's happy uh, in terms of where they are and what they're doing, I'm happy for them. So, <clears throat> um, you don't play in state teams. Is that? I mean, you get get the term. One of the guys on TV said they can't duck them and duck and more fit out or something like that. Is that a, is that any like you played? Played UC in the tournament. You've gotten Xavier. You've had some big games mm -hmm. against in state teams. Is that does that concern you at all? I guess when you get these teams that they they may have more incentive because they're saying we've been wanting to play those guys and now we're going to get them in the tournament. Yeah, I mean we played Nick a few years ago in here, um, but I, you know I, 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 that doesn't really concern me. I, I think the fact that hey we're going to Buffalo. You know, this is Ohio State's sixth straight NCAA tournament, which I think the most they'd ever done before was three years in a row. Um, I'm just, I'm excited for this team and, and the opportunity to uh, play again. I, I, as, as I told our guys, we're a better basketball team uh, than when we left Columbus going to Indianapolis. Um, no matter who you're going to play in, in the NCAA tournament. I think that there's, it's going to be a really, really good basketball team. And, and uh, uh, you know, the fact that we're playing a team an hour away, five hours away, um, it's kind of irrelevant to me. I mean, I, I think the longer you do this, um, the more you see in terms of, of you know, just, you know, uh, Sean and I playing, you know, we work together, Arch and I work together. You know, it's like, eventually, it, it, it all kind of comes full circle. Just want to ask about the overall drug. Do you feel like a six seed was fair for this team? Um, yeah, I guess. I, I, I did something, I, I thought, we were, thought we'd be a five. And, um, but I, I think there, with as many big team teams that got in, how it was explained to me that we may have gotten bumped uh, which is, is fine, five, six. Do you, you guys have been a one or a two seed the past three years. Does the attitude or preparation or anything change going in as a six? Um, no, I, I think I'd like to have the same mindset because uh, I like to have our last couple teams, three teams that have made it. So, um, you know, that's why I'm excited to get to talk to the guys. I haven't talked to them yet. That, uh, I know that you and Jordan left, uh, left on a good terms and you kept up with him. Was there ever a point in time when you shooting 43% for three or was it like, gosh, I wish this guy was still on our team? No, because, you know, when he, he's doing his thing and, and he's doing it well, um, you know, it, it's one of those that uh, those kind of things don't really cross my mind very often. And uh, also, uh, I know you don't like looking ahead of things, but you got to struggle with time speed zones. Seriously, it's obviously known for very good zone team with this year's play. Thoughts of anything in that sort when it comes to Syracuse and second round potential? I just hope I see it, to, to be honest with you. I mean, that, that kind of, we, we need about a, a good three day prep there for Dayton. And, and uh, I mean, I have seen Syracuse play. But uh, haven't you know started breaking down? Right. Yeah, in terms of that. Yeah. Correct.
Um, just wanted to play on Thursday. That's a little different because this year you weren't playing on Sunday. But is uh, the quickness. So what is, what's the next 48 hours like for you and the staff and, and the team? Yeah, play? you know, it's funny because we have to leave Tuesday. Um, as soon as these guys get done with you, we'll, we'll sit down and, and uh, take a look at, at Dayton um, as, a, as a team. So I'm kind of excited. So you guys are telling me you're done with questions. I'm going through those guys. But, uh, uh, you know, we're back in school tomorrow. And um, we'll be back to our normal practice time, getting after it. Uh, we'll start watching film, breakdown film with those guys uh, tomorrow afternoon. You guys have been such a high seed since you've been here. You've gotten geographical preference and started around here. If you would have been a five, I think you probably might have headed out west and been to Spokane or San Diego. Like, just the idea of not having to fly across the country, be three time zones away, is it, does it make the prep any easier that you don't have to deal with that part of it? Um, San Diego is so nice. <laughs> I mean, San Diego versus Buffalo in March, I think. You know, yeah. San Diego. Uh, no, that's, I always say that's why I chose an indoor sport. Um, it, it, you know, the, the travel will be, I mean, I, I'm assuming Buffalo will be an hour flight and, and uh, you know, getting in there, hopefully we can get fans there and, and, and that sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, I, I do, you know, the going out to the West Coast is a lot easier than the coming back. Uh, is, and that's always been the, the hard part, I think. Yeah, you know, not. I, I've watched Aiden play this year. Um, yeah, I think percentage wise, Jordan's much higher than she first person than he was here percentage wise. Um, but in, in terms with, with Arch, um, you know, I, I don't know. Uh, I, I gotta take a look at him just to see if there's anything that, that is common. Coaches. Oh, what kind of a tournament overall do you expect the way the season has played out in college basketball? Now I have to, have to, how do you think of the 10 teams will fare uh, based on what you've seen this year? I, I think maybe the, the most unique thing with, with this year's tournament is I don't know if you have that one dominant team that you say they should win the national championship. Um, you know, Wichita State obviously is is undefeated. Um, Florida is is obviously rolling. Um, I think Arizona is is, uh, is is very very talented as well. Uh, I'm not sure who got the other uh, Virginia. I haven't seen them play, but they must be playing well. But I, I think Todd, from that standpoint, I, I view the tournament as as a wide open. Um, I still can't remember. Who a guy is willing to give a million or a billion dollars if somebody gets it right, so it, it must be pretty uh, uh, up in the air. But I, I think you're going to see some some crazy things. I mean, you're, you're going to see a lot like the Big Ten tournament uh, in, in terms of us being down 18 and coming back and winning. And um, you know, a team plays great one game, then they go out and, and don't play well the next game. I, I think that's kind of what really lies ahead. Just as a quick follow-up, why do you think the Big Ten has not won a title since 2000? I don't know. I, I, I honestly, I don't know. I, I think that you would have to look. And what Illinois and us and Michigan have, have played in the championship game. Michigan State wants to. That's right. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was the lucky one that got the team that won it the year before and everybody came back. <laughs> uh, that was the team I got, so I know what my excuse is. Um, so no, I, I, I don't know. It, it's, it's interesting. That just just ran off the set, so maybe I haven't digested this right. You've got Syracuse, Florida, Kansas, and UCLA in your region. Is that correct? I. I know we got Dayton, Syracuse, and Western Michigan. That's all I saw about it. I don't even know where 
if we win two games, I don't know where we go from there, to be honest. Okay. All yeah. Right. But if that's the case, I mean, this would be one of the greatest runs in the Final Four in the history of the tournament, wouldn't it? <laughs> Who did you say again? I'm reading again. Does somebody have it in front of me? Florida, Kansas, Syracuse, UCLA. Syracuse, Kansas, UCLA. Is UCLA? Yeah, UCLA is the least. VCU? All in the South. With the Buckeyes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. Lucky draw, right? Yeah, it's. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.